Hi everyone, welcome back to the writing segment. Here are today's lesson objectives. To understand report writing, learn different types of report, to learn how to write a report. We have now come to the end of the year. A lot of things had taken place this year and the English Language Society had been extremely busy. Just look at this planner. We carried out so many activities in this year. There were internal competitions as well as inter-school competitions inter-class spelling bee competition, state-level essay writing competition, and the highlight was the trip to Cameron Highlands. Mmm, we can see Yasmin going through pictures from the trip. Oh look, Omar has sent her a message too. Omar is the president of the society. The society has been asked to prepare a report for the trip we made to Cameron Highlands this year. Do not forget all the details of the trip and make it as interesting as possible since it is for the school magazine. The school magazine editor Omar had just asked Yasmin to prepare a report for our school magazine. She has never done this before. She needs help. She has never written a report for a magazine before. She has written one about the fight at the school canteen before, but that was for the principal. So, this is how I helped her. You too can learn on how to write a report on a trip you made. First, Yasmin needs to get all the details together in order to prepare to write her report. This table can help her organize the information. Then, it will be easier for her to refer to. First activity, spelling bee. Two students from each class. Date or day. Language month, 10 February. Number of facts. 14 additional note, lower form, form 1, 2, 3. Second activity, essay writing competitions, inter-school, inter-class and state level. Date or day, 7 April, 14 April and 20th April respectively. Number of packs, 2 for inter-school, 14 for inter-class and 5 for the state level. Additional note, Form 3 for inter-school, Form 4 for inter-class and one student from each form for the state level. Third activity, Trip to Cameron Highlands, date or day, 27th May, number of packs 34, additional note, interesting attractions that will be visited and activities going to be done. Kia Farm, Strawberry Farm, Strawberry Nasi Lemak, Boh Tea Plantation, Steamboat Dinner. Yasmin now has learned that the report she did for the principal is not the same as the report for a magazine. Nevertheless, she noticed that there are some similarities. Here are some similarities. Both the reports use formal tone, have titles, and with reported by, has the signature of the writer and the writer's position. Look at these two reports. Can you spot the differences? This is sample one. This report is addressed to the principal to report the poor service at the canteen. To Mr. Hasnan bin Jalal, the principal of SMK Sri Permata. From Malik bin Abdul, secretary 
Prefectorial Board. Date, 24th March 2020. A report on the school canteen. I am writing this report to draw your attention to the degrading state of the school canteen. Many of the students of Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Sri Permata are unhappy about the conditions at the school canteen. There have been lots of complaints regarding this issue. In the first place, there are insufficient tables and benches. Our school has a student population of over 900. There is only one period of recess time for all forms. More than 90% of the students go to the canteen during recess to buy food and drinks. Unfortunately, there are only about 25 tables and 50 benches which can accommodate less than half the number of students. As a result, many students have to stand while eating. The food sold at the canteen are not only expensive but lack variety. The menu is the same every day for the past five years. Ever since the present canteen management took over, students go back to the same food every day. This caused a problem because now students are ordering food from outside vendors. This is not safe for the students as we do not have control over the hygiene and quality of the food from these vendors. The hygiene and preparation of food leave a lot to be desired. The food and drinks are not covered, hence making them exposed to flies and other insects. The way the canteen attendants dress speak volume about hygiene. With their lackadaisical attitude, the food they sell would one way or the other become contaminated. My fourth complaint pertains to the etiquette of the canteen workers. Not only are they rude and arrogant, they often shout at the students too. The students are always on the receiving end of their bad moods. Many Form 1 students have resorted to staying hungry than going to the canteen due to their frightening experiences with the rude canteen workers. We hope that the conditions at the canteen will improve. The canteen should provide better amenities there should also be a different menu every day so that the students will not have to taste the same food day in and day out. Cleanliness should be given top priority too. Perhaps the school could consider changing the canteen operator and get a better operator to run it. We hope that you will look into our complaints and take immediate steps to remedy the situation. The students are prepared to boycott the canteen if their complaints go unheeded. Reported by Malik bin Muhammad Jalil, Secretary. This report is addressed to the principal. That is why you can see the name of the principal at the beginning of the report. Mr. Hasnan bin Jalal, the principal of SMK Sri Permata. This is followed by the secretary's name and position. From Malik bin Abdul, Secretary, Prefectorial Board. The date is written after the details of the writer. Day 24th March 2020. It has a title. What is the title? Can you remember? 
Yes, a report on the school canteen. Underline the title and write the title in the middle of the line. Did you notice that both reports are written in formal structures and tone? How do we know if we are writing formal structures? Can you still recall what your teacher taught you? I mean, the canteen is disgusting and I almost puke at the trash dump near the bin. What do you think of this sentence? It sounds too casual and conversational, right? The structure may be correct, but the tone and choice of words are inappropriate. You need to sound serious in your report. Your report must be direct, specific and serious to show that you need immediate attention. First, we need to remove I need. Leaving the canteen is disgusting and change the word puke to vomit. Next, replace the word trash with rubbish. You see, the choice of words determine the tone that we use in our report. The phrase I mean will not be suitable here. Look at sample 2. This sample is written for the school magazine. It is also a report, but the purpose is different. This report tells you the activities carried out by the society for the year 2020. As you can see, the purpose of the report will determine the layout of your report. The layout usually accounts for the format marks in the exam too. This report is not addressed to anyone in particular, hence, we do not have anyone's name at the beginning of the report. It starts with the title and the first paragraph introduces the list of the activities carried out by the English Language Society. This is how it goes. The English Language Society Committee for the year 2020 has successfully carried out the activities lined up for this year's calendar. Participation by the members and non-members was overwhelming and we even had to limit the number of students who could partake in the competitions organised at school level. The English Language Society also organised a field trip to Cameron Highlands this year. In this report, I have decided to highlight the most interesting activity carried out by the Society in the following paragraphs. And there are some WOW words too, as my English teacher called. Wow words or phrases are words or a combination of words that make up a phrase that are not frequently used, precise and basically on point. Can you find some wow words and phrases in each paragraph? Here, I have underlined a few in paragraph 2 and 3. Do you know what they mean? In paragraph 2, besides taking part in state-level competitions, we also organise inter-class competition during the Language Month in February. Many students took part and prizes like food hamper and certificates were given away for the winners. Lower form students were especially excited and active in their participation. The choral speaking competition was the highlight of the competitions for the lower forms. 
the conductor was so talented and flawless in her elements. The winner from Wan Jujo proved themselves to be talented and worthy of the Coral Speaking Championship Cup. The team went on to present their masterpiece during the assembly and participated in the state level competition as our school representative. Their hard work paid off when they won the second place in Kuala Lumpur State Choral Speaking Competition for Lower Secondary Category. In paragraph 3, the society had successfully organized a field trip to Cameron Highlands in May. It was a memorable trip for the members as it was exclusively organized for the ELS members. Our teacher advisors Ms Jade and Ms Alia were on this trip too and they had a fair share of fun visiting the Cactus Valley, the strawberry farms and both tea plantation. All of us had a whale of time there. We stayed at the Strawberry Park Apartments and even tried the infamous Strawberry Nasi Lemak, which was pink in colour, which was paired with Strawberry Sambal. Many of us bought the bottled Strawberry Sambal to bring home. The Boh Tea Plantation had a special place in our hearts. We were taken to the plantation on a 4x4 vehicle and a Mr. Ram, the assigned guide, accompanied us to the factory to explain the process of making tea. Not only that, we were also privileged as each of us received a box of mini tea sachets as souvenirs. This trip has made us feel proud as Malaysians and the best part is we bonded as society members too. On our last night in Cameron Highlands, we had a steamboat dinner with strawberry smoothies in one of the famous steamboat restaurants near our accommodation. The day ended with everyone smiling from ear to ear after the wonderful dinner. What about paragraph 4? We headed home the following day. Our teacher advisors had a shopping spree too, especially when we stopped at Kia Farm to buy fresh vegetables and fruits to bring home. There were many souvenirs like keychains, fridge magnets and strawberry pillows sold at affordable prices at the local market. And finally, the concluding paragraph. The trip to Cameron Highlands was definitely the highlight for the society this year. The trip was an unforgettable one as well as a rewarding experience for the committee members. We hope more exciting activities can be planned next year to increase participation among the English Language Society members. Let us recap what goes into this report, friends. 1. Title 2. Introduction, list of activities 3. Second paragraph, highlight of 2020 and details 4. Additional details 5. Hopes and wishes 6. Signatory, reported by signature name position Now that we have read the report, is there anything to add in the report? Yes, I think you may want to add the number of the students who went on the trip to Cameron Highlands. This will add details to your report. The report is good as it contains information and you provided specific details. But you may need to be careful with the tenses. A report must be written in the simple past tense form. Let's look at the report again. In paragraph 1, these are the details that have been included. Members, 
and non-members are mentioned. How many members and non-members participated? 40 members and 30 non-members? How many competitions were organized? The competition was held at school level. We managed to organize 10 competitions during the language month. We entered four state level competition and one national level competition. Add these details to beef up your report. In paragraph two, details were added. This deserve a merit. Look at the underlined words and phrases. Look at the details which I have underlined. It really makes a difference when you have details and elaborations in your report. A report must have details of the events that had taken place so that the reader will be informed of what was carried out by the English Language Society. If the report is too brief and written too short and lack details, then the reader will not know what the society has done. People will lose interest to read it too. The third paragraph is well written. Kudos to you. Look at the wonderful way it has been written. Even a stranger would love to join this society from the way the trip to Cameron Highlands has been reported. Can you see all the details now and how different this paragraph is from the earlier ones? This is the third paragraph. Would you like to do this with me? Alright, underline or circle the details that you can find from this paragraph. Are you able to find the details? Let's check. Here are the answers. 14th May our teacher advisors, Miss J and Miss Alia, Cactus Valley, the Strawberry Farms and Bohti Plantation, State, Strawberry Parks Apartments, Strawberry Nasi Lemak, Strawberry Sambal, Bohti Plantation, 4x4 Vehicle, Mr. Ram, Process of Making Tea, received a box of mini tea sachets as souvenirs. Last night, steamboat dinner with strawberry smoothies. Did you manage to get at least half of the answers? Well done! Please go through your report again and do the necessary changes to your draft. Add more information in the earlier paragraphs. Would you like to do this with me? I am going to add more details. You will see them on your screen. All the details have definitely changed this paragraph. The added information like the number of competitions, the dates of the competitions, number of prizes and certificates, the name of the conductor, the day of the assembly. I am so happy with our edited paragraph. This work is definitely more impressive. Let's see. Besides taking part in state-level competition, we also organised five inter-class competitions during the Language Month on 20th February. 88 students took part and prizes like 20 food hampers and 88 certificates were given away to the winners and participants. Lower form students were especially excited and active in their participation. The choral speaking competition was the highlight of the competition for the lower forms. The conductor from Juan Jujo, Julia Udon, was so talented and flawless in her elements. All the 30 students from Form 1 Jujo proved themselves to be talented and worthy of the choral speaking championship cup. 
team went on to present their masterpiece on the following Monday assembly and participated in the state level competition as our school representative. Their hard work paid off when they won the second place in Kuala Lumpur State Choral Speaking Competition for Lower Secondary Category, which was held on 15th March 2020. Wow, isn't that remarkable? You may want to compile your own report and show it to your teacher. Now, Yasmin's report has been published. She has added all the details and corrected her report so that now it is very impressive. Here are some tips to remind ourselves when we write a report for a school magazine. 1. Use the right format 2. Be precise 3. Include details like date, number of participants and even names 4. Use wow words and phrases to attract your readers 5. Use past tense form 6. Write to impress All the best in your SPM Like my teacher always tells us in class don't give up. Everyone can write. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>